It's official. I hate maternity clothes. Hello everyone, my name is Tiffy. I am now 25 weeks pregnant, growing a healthy little baby boy in my belly. And for the past five weeks, I feel like I've been struggling to find clothes that actually look cute that are maternity clothes. So for the majority of my pregnancy, I've just been wearing leggings and oversized sweaters, and it's been great. But when I actually have to go out into the world, <laughs> I have so much trouble figuring out what to wear and still feeling cute and looking cute and feeling great about myself and my body and showing off the bump and being like, hey, hey I'm pregnant. I tried to prep for this by purchasing some maternity clothes like really early on in my pregnancy and I'm at the point now where I'm wanting to wear them, but everything that I bought does not fit right. It just doesn't look cute. You either have to be like eight or nine months pregnant to fill out the fabric that they <laughs> deemed all maternity sizes. So my belly is pretty small for being six months along. I have tried a lot of things. I have bought maternity clothes, I also rented some maternity clothes. So what we're gonna do today is I am going to try on all of the maternity clothes that I purchased. We got stuff from ASOS. Uh, I got some rentals from Rent the Runway. I, uh, I've been trying, okay? So we're gonna try those on and see how they look. And then I'm gonna show you guys some options that I found worked for me um, and that are not actually maternity clothes, but I feel like you get more run for your money in the long haul because you can wear them afterwards and it's just pretty much anything stretchy, stretchy fabrics. So I'm gonna do a little try on. I bought some stuff from Aritzia and um, other stories. So we're gonna try those on, put together a few cute little outfits and we're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna dress up. Okay. So I know some of you are probably going to ask, the outfit that I'm currently wearing is Free People. This is not maternity. I had this skirt before uh, being pregnant, also with the shirt too, but I found that wearing like these stretchy long skirts have been a lifesaver during this pregnancy. So just wanted to throw that out there. All right, the first dress we're going to try on is this one by Flounce. I'm pretty sure I got this on ASOS, but you know, I saw it on the model. It looks super cute. I got it in one size up because I wasn't sure how much weight I would gain. So instead of a size six, it's a size eight, which sometimes I normally wear, but let's go ahead and see how this looks on. You can't even tell that I'm pregnant. Why? Where's the cute baby bump? I need more elastic under there to show the bump. I feel like it's just so unflattering. And you can definitely tell there is a lot more fabric in the front. Like this dress is meant for a huge, like ready to pop mama. I'll have to stick it out a little to get that effect. I think this is a big no for me. Let's try this dress next, okay? This one would have really fun patterns. The model looks so happy and cute wearing it. Uh, it's from ASOS and it is also a size eight. Words cannot describe how much I hate this dress. Why is there so much fabric? This one is worse than the last. You would think it would be cute with like this little ruffle, but honey, it needs to be tighter. You can't even see the bump. It looks like I'm wearing a moo moo. Don't give any commotion for the back of the dress. I don't know, this is just so disappointing, right? Cause I've ordered from ASOS before and I'm like, yeah, I trust the brand, I like the stuff. And then you get something like this and it's just so unflattering. I just feel hideous as a pregnant woman. Ooh, I don't know if I can make it work. I might try to style it. Let me know if you want me to try to style these dresses and actually make them look cute cause Trying them on right out of the bag. Mm -mm. Don't mind the wrinkles on this one, but this is probably the best of the three so far. Uh, it's not really, it doesn't really fit me that nicely, but it shows a little bit of curves, you know? Like at least it's kind of tight here. You can see 
a tiny bit of the bump, um, but still um, it's very tight in the chest. Like you could see right here, this, this button is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> but yeah, not enough fabric in the arms here. Just, I don't know. It's another miss for me. All right, this is the last dress from ASOS. This is, again, size eight maternity. Uh, this one has a zipper, so we might get a little more shape. Super curious about this one, but you know, I thought a black dress, simple black dress, gotta have one in my wardrobe. All right, so what I like about this one is it has a tie, so you can, you know, adjust it to your size. So that's noted, cute, but since the dress is all black, you can't really see any of the details. I probably, instead of, you know, making it so modest, like, you know, give me a little bit of that mommy titty right here. I wanna see some cleavage. This looks like the back of the dress, you know what I mean? Like, we need some shape here. Um, but I guess, you know, if you're going to church or something, perfect dress for that. Yeah, that's another, it's another no for me. Mm -mm. So those are all the dresses that I have from ASOS that I bought Black Friday, thinking I was, you know, getting a good deal. Not really, because I doubt that I'm gonna wear most of these dresses. Let's try Rent the Runway. So if you don't know what Rent the Runway is, I was turned on to it by one of my friends. This is not sponsored in any way. I actually paid for the subscription myself, but it is a monthly subscription where you can get some articles of clothing. You can rent them, they mail them to you. You wear them for a little bit and then you mail them back. So I saw that they had maternity clothes. So I got myself some rented maternity clothes. Let's see how this goes. All right, here is the first one we're gonna be trying on. This is by a brand named Hatch, and this is a one size fits all dress that you definitely would have to wear something like a belt with this, but I'm gonna try it on anyways and see how it looks. Okay, normally I wouldn't wear something like this. I don't like love it, but I don't hate it. I feel like the cut of it has this very bohemian feel to it. Like the fabric just drapes really pretty. Even though you can't see my belly, I could see this being something that would look really, really pretty on, you know, a about to pop pregnant woman. <laughs> um, maybe if I wear a belt with this, but I feel like that would kind of ruin the drapery of it. I don't know. What do you think about this one? I feel like it goes perfect with like the jewelry that I'm wearing right now and this necklace. I should be in Tulum, like selling you crystals and beads or something. I'm semi happy with this right now. Okay, next up we're going to try some maternity overalls. This is from Stowaway Collection. It's a size medium. I always think pregnant women look so cute in overalls, so I wanted to get me one to try on and see how it looks. All right, here they are. I feel like they kind of look, okay, they, they look a little cute from the front, all right? I'll give you that. You gotta wear like a cute bralette with it or something. But when you turn to the side, I look like an egg. <laughs> um, I wish that it showed a little more of like the curve. Like maybe, I don't know how they would do that. Kind of bring it back a little more like this. But what I don't like about them is the butt. <laughs> it has this elastic right here. And I mean, for obvious reason, reasons, cause you know, everyone's belly's a different size. But I feel like I am wearing a diaper. <laughs> you guys probably can't see the detail. Can you see the detail? Can you see the detail of my little diaper booty? I got a dookie booty. I don't know, maybe overalls are just something that's really hard to pull off as a pregnant woman. Either you have to be, you have to be like really big to pull them off. Um, plus, these don't have pockets. Excuse me, how can you have overalls and not have pockets? These are a definite no for me. Like if I were to try these on in a store, I would not buy them. Okay, this next dress is not maternity. This is from a brand called House of Sunny, 
and I thought the design was so cute. I really wanted to just try it on, see what it looks like with my bump because you know, it's kind of little. Um, so let's start trying on some non-maternity rental stuff. Oh, okay. I feel like an art piece. <laughs> Ooh, I like it, Picasso. So obviously this is not a maternity dress, but I feel like it fits me better than all the maternity clothing. Oh, baby's kicking. <laughs> I think the baby likes it. The back is very cute, just can't wear it, you know, with this type of bra. I feel like I could get away with this one though. Like, I think I could wear this. It's very warm. I could probably put, you know, like a nice coat or something over it to show the bump. Um, and then maybe just like tighten it a little bit on the inside to show the bump more. It's funky. It's fun. And just with some like super fun sparkly shoes, I think, I think I could make this work. All right, we have our last dress from Rent the Runway. This one is by Derek Lamb. Not a maternity dress. Uh, I just thought it was really fun and that it would fit my pregnant body nicely. So let's try this one on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This one is so cute. Okay, so obviously we won't wear it with this type of bra. We'll have something that's like a little more supportive, but look at the figure on this one. Can we get a round of applause for that? And bam, she's pregnant. This dress feels so well made. The fabric, the weight of the dress just feels really nice. Um, it's a little tight on me right here, but you know, that's expected because it's how it always is for, for big chested girls. I might actually be able to get away with not wearing a bra with this one, which might help with that. But I like it. It's so cute. Maternity. I really do like this. I feel like I could wear this for a brunch, you know, just a date night. You can even put like a little sweater over it. It's just so cute. And to be honest with you all, I think the stuff that I much prefer wearing is not maternity clothes. So I started catching on to this and I decided to treat myself to some non-maternity stretchy clothing that I can wear even after being pregnant. So I'm gonna show you some pieces that I got and where I got them from so you can get some ideas on what you might wear for your pregnancy. All right, so I got this dress from Aritzia. It is Wilfred and what I really love about this one is it's super stretchy, super soft and comfy, but it has this really cute cutout and I feel like having this cutout is essential if you wanna show the belly because a lot of the clothing, especially if you have large breasts, if your boobs come out this way, the fabric will, you know, go flat. But this really emphasizes that cut right here. You can see the bump in full action. If you wanted to, you know, put something over. I also got this cute little sweater from Aritzia. It's Wilfred. It's a size large, the dress is a medium, but you can put a cute little cardigan over it. And what I like to do, learn this one from TikTok, is I like to grab the bottom button, button that in the center, grab the second button, button that in the bottom, and then do your top button. Even that out, give it a little tug and put that button underneath. So then it kind of emphasizes this little shape right here. And by little shape, I mean your belly. So there is one of my outfits that I put together that's non-maternity and that you can wear after your pregnancy. We want longevity here in our clothing. So love this outfit. I think I might actually buy more dresses like this because they're just so comfortable. This next dress is also from Wilfred. It is a size of medium. It is super soft and plush and cozy and shows off the bump. Uh, if you're wearing this on a night out, you can also put a cute little sweater on it. I'm gonna show you the one that I wore with it. This sweater is from And Other Stories and obviously I love it because, well, it's purple, my favorite color, but you could wear it loose like this. Super comfy cozy. Again, still showing off the bump. Or what I thought was really cool is it has 
ties that you can tie on the inside here that you can actually tie over your bump, no matter how big or small your bump is. And you can really emphasize the bump with the tying. So you make sure the inside tie is nice and tight. And we have a super cute little sweater that shows your bumpy. I know that these cardigans can get like a little expensive, but I definitely think these are important to get for your wardrobe because they're so versatile. Versatile? Versatile? I don't know. <laughs> so I was a little weary about getting an outfit like this, but I saw a pregnant woman wearing this walking down the street and I thought she looked so freaking cute. So I was like, I need to get one of those little jumpsuit body suits. Um, this is just a one piece. You can see the bump. This is a size large, again from Wilfred. But what I love about this one is pairing it again with another cardigan. And I just got myself this cardigan from And Other Stories because I really do love the quality of their clothing. But look how cute that is. It looks so cozy. And you can see the bump. Again, you can button this or tie it off, whatever you wanna do, but I really love this outfit. My only gripe with it is that when you have to pee, because <laughs> you gotta pee a lot when you're pregnant, you're drinking a lot of fluids, taking everything off and taking this whole thing off is kind of a pain in the butt. It still looks super cute, you know? Chill, comfy, I love it. I thought it was so cute. If the onesie isn't your style, you could also pair it with a form-fitted dress that I also have. This dress is by Babaton. I hope I'm saying that right. It is a size large and it is so comfy, so fitted. You can see the bump in full swing. And again, with a cardigan, it still looks super cozy and cute. Honestly, you can get away without wearing a cardigan, but if it's chilly, like, obviously go for it. But it's so cute, I love it. I personally didn't have many neutrals in my closet, so that's what I was really looking for, but they have multiple colors in the dresses that you can get. Guys, I love my bump. See how much happier wearing clothing can make you? <laughs> like literally, you have to wear the right clothes for your body. And not to mention the absolute cherry on top is that these clothes are not maternity clothes, so I can wear them even after giving birth and losing that postpartum weight. I didn't just, you know, waste money on maternity clothes. So I think I found out, I think I found out a secret. I'm on to something. I think I'm gonna just end the video in this super cute outfit. Let me know in the comment section below which outfit out of all of them, even the maternity ones, were your favorite. And if you have any other hacks or tips and tricks for maternity clothes or just for pregnancy in general, feel free to leave some comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I haven't done a video like this in a really long time and I had so much fun putting together these outfits. I think a thrift uh, video is is in store for us in the future. See what we can get our hands on, but check out some more pregnancy content on the channel and I will see you all later. I love you. Bye-bye.